everybody. Today, we're doing a lot of dad stuff. Had to mow the grass, had to get the yard looking good again. We've been away on vacation, so you know how the grass gets whenever, uh, whenever you're not around to keep up with things. Had to get the pools cleaned out. Just had to do quite a bit around here. Um, got one more little project to do uh, while I'm sitting out here, but you can get in on that one. Today, we're making 24 ounce Tuesday, 25 ounces again. Cheers, everybody. Ah, just a hot day. Good to sit down and drink a cold beer. Okay, so a while back, we got our two year old, one of these Polaris remote control cars. These things are pretty cool. They have the charging stations built into them now. I don't know when the last time was that you bought a remote control car. But you just need a charger box. The USB cord goes up in there like so. So pretty cool. But the problem with this guy is that the tires keep coming off. So he'll be driving this thing around and the tires are looking like they need a balance really bad so what we're gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put some super glue on these things to keep the tires from falling off it's kind of hard getting those suckers back on there so i think what i'm gonna do is get each of the tires on first get it back on the rim get it seated and then i'm gonna go ahead and put the glue around the inside of the room but anyway that's here nor there got a couple couple of videos coming up that I'm pretty excited about I'm going to I'm gonna do some baby back ribs I love to eat baby back ribs and I think I love to cook them even more so I'm really excited to do that. Hopefully here in this next week. Um, and then people keep asking me, when are you gonna do beer again? When are you gonna make some beer? I think I mentioned it in my uh, I'm back video that I did a couple months ago that the reason I really quit to begin with or took a really long break <clears throat> was because I had to start using my deep freeze for meat. Our freezer went out at one time and I had to use my deep freeze that I normally lagered in. And here's the thing. I don't want five gallons of just any kind of beer anymore. You know, when I first started home brewing, it was fun. I was like, I want to try every style. It's still fun to make beer. But the thing is, God dang. But the thing is, I don't want to do it just to do it. I want to make something that I'm really going to drink and enjoy drinking. And that tends to be a lager, you know? So I'd love to get an Oktoberfest going. It's about that time of year, you know? Lager it for a couple months, two, three months, and then it'll be ready by Halloween. I know, you know, Oktoberfest, people like to drink those in September and I do too, but man, Letting them, letting them lager into October and then pulling a nice, nice homebrew Oktoberfest off of the keg. Super special. Um, so yeah, I don't know. You know, I could do a cream ale, something like that. I love homebrew. I love trying all kinds of beers. Maybe buy a six pack of something when I'm in the mood for it. But typically, I like to keep things light. And, you know, as the weather gets colder, I'll start drinking heavier beers. But it takes a special beer 
to want five gallons of it, you know? I don't want to just go buy a couple cases of any kind of beer unless it's like a daily driver, you know? And some people will say, oh, that's not beer. What are you even doing? But to each his own. I respect that. I spent a lot of time studying and researching beer, so I get what they're saying. But man, a nice ultra or a Bud Light on a hot day, Coors, even a Rolling Rock, Takati, Dos Equis, I'm not that picky. So, once the weather starts cooling off, I would like to do a, uh, you know, maybe a gallon batch. I don't know. Might do five gallons of a stout this winter. I really like stouts and I wouldn't have to lager that. So that's a possibility. Oh yeah. Every time I turn around, he's saying, da da, da da. The tires came off again. He can't talk that well, so he's not exactly telling me what the problem is, but I already know. We'll see if we can't solve that problem though. Before we sit out here on a beautiful evening after mowing the grass all day. I mean, let's be honest, it doesn't take all day, but still. All right. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm really, I'm super excited to get those ribs going here in the next couple of days. Um, while I was at Ace, I had to run down some super glue. I really like the Gorilla Glue. While I was out, I had to pick up some, some more meat church rub. I gotta have the gospel around. I gotta have the holy gospel around. That's typically what I season everything with. And then I have some honey hog, some honey hog hot that I like to add. You know, typically after the first four or five hours of a cook. And with the ribs, I don't know, I'll probably just hit it with the gospel and throw some nice butter, brown sugar, maybe some honey in it, wrap it, put it back on the smoker. It's gonna be really good. It's a nice evening though, even though it was so hot today. We've had a lot of rain lately, which I guess is why the grass was ankle high when I got home. It's hard to beat summertime though, man. For me, summer's as good as it gets. And you know, I, I say that, but my favorite things in the world kind of happen during the fall. So, you know, we got football season coming up. We got, you know, the smells in the air, the changing of the seasons, the cooler weather. Did I mention football? The fairs. And you know, just being out in the fall tends to be more pleasant go out find some food trucks you know anything like that that you're gonna do it's it's always better in pleasant weather i feel like and we typically don't have much of a fall around here you know we might have a week or two of fall weather and then it turns to winter or then we have 80 degree days again so i remember as a kid i really felt like we had a longer fall but i'll take what i can get I'm hoping for a solid fall this year. Great time for beer making. Great time for doing anything outside, really. Yeah, these babies aren't coming off now.
feel like they probably need balance now that I'm adding all this glue. Don't want this thing to slip out of alignment, you know. It's really weird though because it's always turned right really well. But it doesn't turn left too well. I'm not sure what that's all about. It's kind of reminiscing earlier. I got done mowing. It's just kind of sitting out here taking a break, drinking a beer to cool down. And I know I've talked about this in a past video, just kind of looking around at some of the stuff I've compiled over the years. Looking through a couple of those boxes of kits that I bought. Man. You know, when you start any new venture, it's super exciting. And I remember coming in at night, you know, when I first started. And I'd get on Beersmith, I'd be designing recipes. I remember buying every one of those kits. You know, maybe get five or six beers in and you're like, I feel like I should hop online and buy something. <laughs> you know, hop online and buy another beer kit. And just super exciting times. And looking back, some of my best memories, honestly, like those old videos that I have on the channel, those were some great, great times. And there's really good times ahead. But, man, it's hard to match some of those old memories of making beer. And that's why it's important to keep moving. You know, keep trying new things. Because I, there's no doubt in my mind that I'll feel that way again about something else. Or I'll find a new beer machine. Or maybe I'll find a new smoker. Or something like that. And it starts all over again. You know. Can't sweat losing things that we leave behind. But still. Can look back and appreciate. I think I have a spider on me. So, golly. <clears throat> Had a couple spider bites. A couple weeks ago think it started looking like three mosquito bites but then like it swelled up the size of a dang baseball and I knew that there was probably a bigger issue going on pretty sure I got bit by a spider or three spiders I hate going to the doctor so I didn't do that probably should have Oh, yeah. We're not losing any wheels. Run it till the wheels fall off. I use the whole thing as super glue. Overkill? What do they say about overkill? It's underrated. Too much of anything is just enough. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. I'm tired. I feel like this is just one of those days that it's been a great day. It's been a rewarding day. You know, anytime you get your work done, feels like a good day. It's satisfying. But, man, not exactly like overflowing with shit to talk about tonight. Which, you know, some days are like that. Mama told me there would be days like this. Cheers. Oh, man. I thought I'd probably keep it pretty short today, but here's the thing about a 24-ounce Tuesday. Or a 25-ounce in this case. It only goes as fast as you drink. And I just had a burger not too awful long ago so i'm kind of full sometimes it's hard to pound a tall boy when when you're full i saw a video a couple days ago and they were doing the the beer pour and you know how we're all taught to you know 
tilt the glass, pour it down the side so you don't get a big head on top. Don't get a big head. Pride comes before the fall. But in this video, the person was just pouring that son of a bitch. Just vigorous pour. And, you know, the foam, the head's about this big. You let it go down. Then you pour the rest in. Not taking it easy at all. You let it go down again. And you go until it's done. And basically, the point was, you get the carbonation out of it. Or all that's going to be in your stomach. You know? Um, so I tried it. I poured a couple beers like that. It did give me less of that, like, full feeling. But... It was a little bit flatter, and I don't know that I prefer it. I believe I'll keep uh, I believe I'll keep my carbonation in my beer. Thank you. <laughs> but I say that to say this: when you're full, you know I could see how you might wanna might wanna lose some of that fizz. That's okay. We're not in any hurry. I know I'm not in a hurry. Y'all been, been seeing the cicadas? They're supposed to be out in full force this year. There's supposed to be a shit ton of them. My nine-year-old is a big cicada guy. He's a big bug guy. And he was super excited hearing that the cicadas were supposed to be going crazy this year. They were all supposed to be coming up out of the ground. But... We haven't seen any more than usual, and actually, he feels like he's seen fewer than usual. So, not sure what's going on there. Not sure if anyone else around the country has been seeing those things. Been doing a bit of camping. Been to the river. We were going to take the kids to Branson this year. My parents always did that with us as kids. I like playing golf in Branson. But I think we might wait until the fall this year. Because my wife hates the summertime. She's like the Grinch at Christmas, but in the summertime. And just trying to get her to do anything or go anywhere during the summer. Is, she's going to be hanging out in the hotel. So we're thinking about doing maybe like Colorado Springs or something like that this year, but do it in the fall instead. And I can get behind that. But when the kids get a little bit older, you know, our youngest is two, going to be three here in October. When they get just, when he gets just a little bit older, I can take both boys and I'm a summer guy. So we can go on our own adventures and I know she would probably appreciate the time home by herself. So we'll definitely do some more of that, but it's just so hard when your kids are little, you know? As you can see, this video looks like it should be sponsored by Pampers. It's actually not Pampers. It'd be great if, uh, if you could throw me a sponsorship here, you know? Man, something. Hmm. I know those baby back ribs are in that fridge over there and super ready to super ready to get that thing going. Let's see, it's Tuesday. Well hell, I'm not doing anything this week anyway, so maybe this weekend. Be a good weekend thing. Especially like when college football comes back on. Oh do some cooking, drink some bloody Marys. Watch all the games I don't give a shit about. And then, you know, the one or two that I do give a shit about. Every Saturday. And then what am I going to be doing on Sunday? Watching every game I don't give a shit about. Turning on Red Zone. I saw a guy on my social media last football season. <clears throat> he said he has to pick like two games a week that he wants to watch his wife makes him pick two games saturday and sunday you know maybe it's a college game and an nfl game maybe it's two nfl games maybe it's two college games um 
But I couldn't live my life like that. I have to watch every single game I don't give a shit about. And the games I give a shit about. Every single week. Gotta watch golf Thursday through Sunday in the summertime. My wife asked me, you know, a few years back. <laughs> we've been married for four years now. She probably asked me this before we were even married. She said, when are sports over? <laughs> <laughs> uh, never sleeps does it thank god <clears throat> summer's pretty slow you know I'm a big baseball guy so baseball's pretty slow it's faster now with the pitch clock but it's kind of a slower mindset game but still like for me I can sit down and enjoy a baseball game if I don't care about it, you know, I'm a big Rockies fan, so if the Rockies are playing, I'll, you know, watch it like I care. But if I'm watching the, you know, the Padres and the Giants, it's still in L. West, so again, I kind of care about that game. Yankees and Astros. Ah, mess around on my phone. Go cook some burgers, have the game on. I enjoy baseball, but man, I watch a lot of golf during the summertime. Basketball's coming back up. The NBA is going to be super exciting this year. I'm a Thunder fan, so a lot of people talk shit on the Thunder. I guess I don't really understand unless it's the commercials with SGA and Chet. I'm like, eh, okay, if that's why you hate them, okay, but I don't, I don't really get it. They seem like a good good group of guys to me got Caruso this year Presti's making a lot of shit happen in OKC and I'm here for it and like I said you know basketball's coming up football's coming up before that it's we're we're really starting to heat up the Olympics what am I thinking man here in like this week Wow. Have to do some ribs for the Olympics. Maybe for the opening ceremony on Friday. Yeah. It's a great excuse to get out there and make some ribs. Not that I've ever really needed an excuse, you know. So I fixed this car. Actually, my two-year-old is still napping. So when he wakes up, I have to take this baby for a spin. Kids are super cool, man. You know, like when they're that young and you're just their best buddy and like you can do no wrong. It's such a cool age. And I bitch all the time, like, man, when he's a little bit older, this will be easier, or that'll be easier. But there ain't no going back to these days when you can do no wrong and he's just your little buddy and you're his best friend. You know, whether you have a son or a daughter, or whether you did have a son or a daughter, maybe they're grown now, but I know I'll be there one day, and I know that, why do I cry every, <laughs> every 24 hours Tuesday? You got me out here crying. I feel like, I told my wife this just the other day, you know, when they are grown, I would give literally anything. I know that I would give literally anything to go back for one day and have what I have right now. So blessed. I was going out to do something the other day and you know, I'm not. People tell me good luck, you know, here and there for this or that, oh, good, good luck, you know, good luck. And I think to myself, maybe I should say it out loud more often, why do I need luck when I'm the luckiest guy in the world? I do believe that. Cheers, everybody. I hope you feel the same way. Missed the trash. That's okay. Have a good one. See you for some ribs here at the end of the week for the Olympics. Can't wait. Peace out.